Well, good evening. Thank you so much. Welcome to Citizen TV's coverage of London 2012, the Olympics, but also events uh, of Kenya House and Brand Kenya around the Olympics. And today what's happening is the Kenya Diaspora Conference 2012. We're going to tell you more about that in just a moment. But first, let's go to Mike Okini with all the latest from the sports front. He carries the hopes of a nation in the boxing ring. Flyweight boxer Benson Gisharu is the only boxer that made it to the Olympics after the qualifiers held in Morocco. Gisharu has been training in Cardiff, Wales, an experience that is quite different from home. Trained for so many years, wasting our energy, leaving it the gym. But for them, they were just trained. We were just trained for a short while, and for now, I'm very fit and ready to go. He says being the first Kenyan to compete is a great honor, a step towards realizing his dream. I'm feeling great, but for now, pride is not on my side. Uh, I'll be grateful and excited when I enter the arena. Yeah, knowing where, uh, hearing people cheering me up, even if they will be cheering the other opponent, I always put that on to me. Wangila Napuni was the last boxer to win a medal for Kenya at the Olympic Games. It has taken Kenya 24, 24 years since the late Wangila took the gold. So that's what I'm I. Gisharu will be up against Abdelal Hisham of Egypt in a bout that will start at 2.15 p.m. local time, which is 4.15 p.m. in Kenya. The XL South Arena 2 building right behind us is where Benson Gisharu will be fighting on Monday afternoon. He lost in the qualifiers in the finals for the Olympics, but he says he has learned his lessons and he knows exactly how to tackle his opponents. Michael Kinney for Citizen Weekend in London, United Kingdom. Thank you so much for that, Mike. And of course, our hopes and best wishes with all Kenyans participating at the Games. Right here at the Kenya Diaspora Conference, over 600 Kenyans living abroad in the UK area have come together to look at the vision for Kenya's future. Let's take a look at some of the thoughts. We have a new constitution. We have new institutions. I hope and believe that everybody charged with responsibility of making sure that we have a peaceful election, an election free of disputes, be it the electoral commission, the candidates themselves, including myself, the voter, the police, everybody. We're now getting ready. Uh, the program is out for the elections. So we're confident and we are going out talking to the diaspora about their right to vote in the next coming elections. And as we saw last time, that the country had moved up the, the growth path towards uh, an annual growth rate of 7% which slumped to one or two immediately. And we have not even been able over a five-year period to get back to the 7%. So it's quite important that uh, you know, everybody, the, the citizenry, uh, the politicians who are going in for, 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 the, for the positions uh, and the institutions are really, really committed to a peaceful, free and fair election. Our, our vision, our desire is to come back home and give back to the community so that the community moves forward. We, we actually show them what we've seen through our eyes and we can just go forward. Nobody wants to die here. I definitely don't want to die here. We are all in this for the benefit of the entire country, for the benefit of our children, to make sure that we have a country in which our children can get well-educated in good schools, good teachers, good healthcare systems, the kind of infrastructure that creates jobs for us and our children. That's what I think Kenyans ought to remember. Kenya has got everything going for them. Now, how do we make it? All the younger people and all the people who listen now must make very sure that put your bit in it. Just don't expect somebody else to do it. Well, I can tell you it's been an inspirational time for many Kenyans who haven't traveled home for a long time, seeing the images of our transformed roads, hearing about the reforms and the changes in Kenya has sparked a new interest in our country. The Olympics 2012 here in London is not just about the sports for Kenya, it's about rousing a nation and making a people aware of how much they can contribute to building a nation as our sportsmen and sportswomen have been doing for so many years. 
tomorrow. It's prayer day at Kenya House and we're going to bring you prayers from 4 to 6 p.m. Our athletes will be there as well. We look forward to linking with you tomorrow. That's it for now. I'm Julie Yashuru. It's been a pleasure. Back to you in studio.